All right, next up, we're having in Brian Greenberg from Life Moves. So, when Pastor Dave and Vicki asked me to speak at, um, where are we at Main and Elm? I thought I was going to be out on the street corner in front of the train tracks. I, I had never heard of this place, but I thought, Boy, we're going to do this um, this Christ-centered thing. They're going to have this old Jewish guy up there speaking. <laughs> At this event, um, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be on a milk carton <laughs> talking about homelessness. Uh, so here we are. Um, so yesterday there was an article in the New York Times. They said for the first time in this country, we passed 100,000 opioid deaths. Wow. For the first time. Before COVID, it was 85,000 a year, right? Uh, we also have another 100,000 deaths every year from alcohol. We have 480,000 deaths a year from tobacco. These are the most, the, nothing compares in terms of preventable deaths as substance abuse. Not gunfire, not car accidents, Substance abuse are the preventable deaths, right? They're the number one. I oversee homeless shelters and life moves. Um, so my agency and Street Life, we serve the same folks. Um, and many of our folks on the street and in our shelters, they didn't win the parent lottery. And they didn't win the zip code lottery, right? Um, none of our folks, they, if you don't win either of those, Lotteries, you deal with Redwood City Police, who do a great job. <laughs> but that's, they, they do all the house calls. They're out on the street with people. Um, so, uh, our clients didn't have that supportive community around them when they were young. Faith-based or other communities uh, to pull them up when they fell. And now this population is so disenfranchised and so dispossessed and all too often abandoned and unsheltered. And you know, I don't practice my religion, uh, but I am active in my synagogue. And so I know, I witness the power and effectiveness that the people of faith and communities of faith can, how dramatically they can help people change their lives. Come on. Mission-focused faith organizations like Street Life, they take on the tough work. Um, they really do. Uh, you know, primary care providers, the physicians that we send our people to, too often they don't want to see people that haven't bathed in three days, right? I mean, it's really difficult. Uh, mental health providers, they don't want to serve people that are loaded, right? It's people like law enforcement and Street Life Ministries that deal with these people, that say, bring them to us, we're gonna deal with them. Um, so we live in a time where so many things are broken. I'm gonna let that train go by. Hey, go to Menlo Park some nice. We live in a time where so many things are broken, right? Um, where are we here? You know, our politics are broken. Our environment is broken. Our housing system is in need of repair, right? And when these things break down, stuff rolls downhill, right? It's, our, it's the most disenfranchised that experience the most. Um, so Street Life, they have the services and the messages, and they welcome with open arms our community members that almost everyone else shuns. And they need our support because they can't do it without us. So I'm really grateful you're all here. And I'm really hoping you'll all join me in supporting uh, the work of Pastor Dave and his great organization. Thank you very much.